I really welcome this opportunity to speak to you to give you an update on Operation Rescue in Ethiopia and most of you know it's a, a project that is very very dear to my heart. I really am doing this little uh, video to ask you to pray for Tigray uh, where Operation Rescue is based. They are living with enormous political uncertainty at the moment and living through very perilous times. The civil war that broke out uh, between Tigray and the central government in Addis Ababa, it began on November the 4th and really the fighting is still continuing in many parts of, of the province. Thousands of people have been killed, um, many more thousands have been displaced to Sudan and to other places and the UN estimate that hundreds of thousands if not millions uh, are in very serious need of uh, humanitarian aid and yet are not able to access that aid. Last week Channel 4 reported um, that rape is being used uh, as a weapon of war in Tigray. Uh, other journalists have reported um, terrible crimes, uh, summary executions where soldiers take out men and boys and just kill them and um, many of these things happened uh, in uh, an area near Aksum which is a place of particular religious significance to Ethiopian Christians. In Makeli, the capital, the place that I, I would know best, um, well over 80,000 displaced people have come from the countryside and they're just um, lying on mattresses or wherever in, in schools and wherever there's possible for them to go. Um, they've come very often with just the, the clothes they're standing up in. It's also not been possible in Makeli for the schools to reopen or indeed for the Operation Rescue Centre to reopen because it's not safe for young people to be on the streets. Operation staff, Operation Rescue staff have been really busy. They have been distributing what help they can to some of those displaced people. They've given out money uh, to the families of each of the children that would normally come to the centre so that they can buy food. And some of the staff were so relieved to get through to Adigrat and Adwa, the other two places where there are centres, so that they could distribute flour. And those um, those gifts of flour were, were so so much welcomed and greeted with much thankfulness. I'm very thankful that I can keep contact by phone, unlike the time uh, between November and Christmas when there was no communication. Uh, Gatachu sends emails when he can and I got one on Sunday and in it he, he wrote, I'm th uh, what is happening in Tigray is horrible and hard to hear. We are hoping for justice and a radical solution that can only come from our almighty God. Thank you for all your prayers. And that is what they desire from us most, our prayers. So will you join me in praying for Tigray, to pray for peace, to ask for God's protection uh, for the Operation Rescue children and, and staff, uh, to ask for provision for all of the people of Tigray as they have need. Um, and we, we ask this in the name of a loving Heavenly Father. Thank you.